very good evening uh, we are going to discuss about uh, 2024-25 uh, science model question paper 3 key answers we already discussed physics part now we are going to discuss chemistry part then question main number 6 choose the correct alternatives that's a multiple choice questions to total three multiple choice questions they asked for uh, each carrying one mark then let's start 13th one a salt used to remove the permanent hardness of water is calcium sulfate hemihydrate calcium oxychloride sodium carbonate sodium hydrogen carbonate then it's right answer sodium carbonate because sodium carbonate is used in detergents and soap powders okay then uh, calcium sulfate hemihydrate is used it's nothing but pop okay to make uh, articles uh, and uh, uh, fractured cases we use a pop then calcium oxychloride uh, calcium oxychloride as i used as a bleaching agent then uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate it's uh, what uh, uh, used in bakery products and uh, uh, catering products then question number question number 14 as the ph value of a neutral solution decreases then the concentration of hydrogen ion decreases the concentration of hydrogen ions increases uh, solution becomes basic concentration of a hydrogen and what hyd hydroxide ions equalizes then it's right answer uh, a pH value of neutral solution decreases means it turns into acidic if uh, it turns into acidic means concentration of a hydrogen ions increases question number 15 electronic configuration of elements a b and c respectively 282 28 and 287 among these elements that can react each other to form an ionic compound ionic compound means uh, um, what, uh, metals and non-metals react here metal is a sodium oh, sorry not uh, sodium magnesium 282 okay uh, atomic number 12 magnesium okay it uh, it is capable to donate two electrons and uh, 287 that's a chlorine that's a chlorine it's a atomic number is 17 that's why whenever the magnesium reacts with the chlorine mg reacts with the chlorine what it gives it gives a magnesium chloride mgcl2 okay uh, the middle element whatever the two at that's octate state octate elements not react with any other elements that's why it's not possible that's why a and c reacts with each other that's why option c right answer option c right answer then question main number seven answer the following questions each carrying one mark total three questions are there for three marks what is a galvanization the process of coating steel or iron okay articles with a thin layer of zinc it's called as a galvanization question number 17 hydrogen gas does not evolve when the metal react with a nitric acid why nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent it oxidizes the hydrogen produced to water then 18th one question name the organic compounds that have below given structural formula first one is a methanol first one is a methanol okay cho is there uh, choh that's why methanol and another one is a bromoethane bromoethane c2h5br c2h5br who they are studied carbon and its compound they can only uh, able to answer this question uh, with their bonding uh, alkane alkene alkyne their formula general formula and the structural formula like these things who they are studied they are only able to answer like these questions definite two uh, two mark questions will arise in your exam question main number eight answer the following questions each carrying two marks total three questions are there for a six marks then see 19th one question what is the reason for uh, tooth decay explain how can be prevented when the pH of mouth is lower than 5.5, tooth uh, enamel gets uh, corroded and uh, tooth decay is caused. Then prevention of tooth decay, clean mouth after eating food, using a toothpaste for a cleaning the teeth, neutralizes the excess acid and prevents tooth decay. Question number 20. On heating crystals of copper sulfate, it's a blue color disappears give the reason for this change how can the blue color of the copper sulfate uh, be restored uh, blue color of the copper sulfate crystals fades as the crystal loses water of the crystallization blue color of the copper sulfate can be restored by adding few drops of water on where copper now question number 21 
write the electron dot structure of the following molecules hydrogen h2 okay because in their outermost orbit uh, they contain only one electron to share um, then hydrogen reacts with the hydrogen it forms h2 then uh, they shared two electrons like that only ethane c2 h6 okay in between carbon they share two electrons um, and like that only hydrogen shares uh, one electron with carbons another electron uh, by sharing electron covalent bond is formed in between carbon and hydrogen and ethane is formed okay this is a dot structure is also important for two marks for your exam then question main number nine answer the following questions each carrying three marks total three questions are there three threes are nine marks then 22nd of uh, a balance the following chemical equations uh, NaOH sodium hydroxide uh, reacts with a uh, sulfuric acid it gives a uh, sodium sulfate and water okay then uh, to balance this reaction what we have to do means uh, sodium sulfate Na2SO4 is there to balance that to balance that uh, sodium we took here to if we take here to then uh, to balance hydrogen also also required because here to and here to total four hydrogens are there that's why to balance we took uh, what in uh, right hand side also uh, wherever water is there there also we will multiply with two it's a balance now then uh, potash uh, potassium uh, reacts with oxygen it gives a potassium oxide k2o then to make a balance of potassium uh, in uh, left hand side we took a uh, four potash reacts with oxygen it gives a two k2o we took here too then uh, uh, what they asked they asked another one question there what they asked means b question uh, zinc oxide reacts with a coke or carbon it gives a zinc and carbon monoxide identify the reactant that is oxidized and the reactant that is reduced in the reaction sometime they not ask in reactant as a specifically mentioned word okay whenever uh, you are uh, writing a oxidized and deoxidized must and should keep in mind we have to write on the basis of a reactant side only not on the basis of a products so here reactants are uh, what uh, zinc oxide and uh, carbon so what here zinc oxide is reduced zinc oxide is reduced and coke is oxidized because it got uh, oxygen and turned into carbon monoxide then uh, next question 23rd question uh, for this question they asked a uh, type question mention the meaning of the following chemical reactions thermal decomposition thermal decomposition de decomposition that takes place on heating that's called as a thermal decomposition then uh, displacement reaction the reaction in which more reactive element displaces the less re what reactive element from its solution it's called as a displacement then rancidity oxidation of food containing oil and fat it's called as a rancidity then question number 23rd what is neutralization reaction how can sodium chloride be obtained by neutralization method write the balanced chemical equation for the reaction okay then see uh, the reaction in which an acid reacts with a base to give a salt and water it's called as a neutralization reaction then di dilute hydrochloric acid uh, solution react with the sodium hydroxide solution to form a sodium chloride and water it's an example for a neutralization reaction then reaction c naoh plus hcl gives rise to nacl plus h2o question number 24 draw the diagram of apparatus arranged to show the reaction of a steam on metal and uh, label the following parts delivery tube and hydrogen gas okay same diagram they asked in model question paper 3 and model question paper 4 this is a very important diagram two diagrams in two diagrams whatever the bubbles arise and uh, with the help of stick uh, they catches fire that diagram and this diagram these are very important both uh, what uh, reacts both acids reacts with the metals and liberate hydrogen same uh, uh, thing related diagrams are there out of these two must and should one it will come in your exam so practice these diagrams very carefully then uh, this is the water uh, glass wool uh, containing a water this is a metal then this is a delivery tube they asked in here then uh, what in the form of bubbles whatever the hydrogen is collected in this test tube that's a given here so see the all other parts 
दिस इज बुनसिन बर्नर स्टैंड ओके वाटर कंटेनिंग जार देन क्वेश्चन नंबर क्वेश्चन मेन नंबर टेन आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन इट्स अ फोर मार्क क्वेश्चन ओके ओनली वन क्वेश्चन दे आस्क फॉर फोर मार्क्स इयर ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन इन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ए एक्सप्लेन द क्लेंजिंग एक्शन ऑफ अ सोप्स देन ए क्लेंजिंग एक्शन ऑफ अ सोप द डर्ट इज oily in nature which does not dissolve in water the ionic end of a soap interact with water while the carbon chain interact with oil the soap molecules thus form structures called micelles in a micelle one end of the molecule is towards the oil droplet while the ionic end faces outside this forms a emulsion in water the soap micelles thus helps in pulling out the dirt in water then b Uh, what is esterification mention the uses of esters esterification the reaction in which ethanoic acid reacts with absolute ethanol uh, in the presence of an acid catalyst to give an ester uses of ester they are used in making perfumes and uh, uh, flavoring agents for this question they asked another one r type question uh, List any two differences between saturated and unsaturated carbon compounds. Then see the difference because uh, whole syllabus differences I already discussed in uh, passing package. Uh, go and uh, check it once. Uh, those are very helpful. Uh, the whatever the differences are there, they helpful for you to get uh, nearly eight to ten marks in your exam. So they bring you to uh, uh, very near uh, to your pass passing marks. Contain uh, what uh, saturated hydrocarbons contain a single bond between two carbon atoms. Unsaturated hydrocarbons contains a double or triple bonds. Then saturated hydrocarbons less reactive. Unsaturated hydrocarbons more reactive. Saturated hydrocarbons give clean flame when they burnt. Unsaturated hydrocarbons give a yellow or black flame. Saturated hydrocarbons carbon subjected to sublimation reaction. Unsaturated hydrocarbons subjected to both addition and sublimation reactions. Uh, then B question. What are structural isomers? Write the structural structures of butane isomers. See then structural isomers. Carbon compounds with identical molecular formula but different structures. Those are called as structural isomers. Molecular uh, what isomers of butane? That's normal butane here. Whatever the butane is there, it's a normal butane. Uh, C four H ten and uh, this is the iso butane. Okay, iso butane. Up to now, we discussed two thousand twenty-four, twenty-five model question paper science, uh, 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 question paper three. Uh, that's a chemistry part. Uh, in next clip, we are going to discuss about part C. That's a biology part. Uh, within a short, I upload this video. Uh, hopefully, these videos are helpful to your exam because these four model question paper and one preparatory question paper is enough for your study. Uh, you can able to score first class. Uh, so uh, keep in mind and uh, do studies well uh, thank you thank you so much